Yes. Okay. Hey everyone, it's a little bit after 11 o'clock. I am at the shop. Um, we've been working really hard on our storage area this weekend and I'm just catching up on some book work. And we have some new projects that have just come into the shop uh, this last week. So today I'm going to give you a preview of the what we're calling the fourth quarter Nova. And the reason for that um, will be revealed very shortly. But this car is on a rotisserie from the owner. This is how it was received um, along with all of its sheet metal. Um, well, most of the sheet metal that we're going to be replacing. Now that the car has been stripped down to bare metal, it was actually dipped in acid and it came straight here from being dipped. And we have been assessing some of the damage that we knew about and the owner knew about. However, most of this is a surprise since the project was originally purchased. Um, it was not purchased uh, being anticipated that it would need any restoration of any kind. So um, hence the mixed feelings by the owner. He's doing the right thing repairing this car because you can't sell it in the condition that it was in and he's going to make it right. So um, we will start with our walk around here. If you want to take a look at this is the most obvious section this quarter. Um, so this is where the name the fourth quarter Nova is coming from. Um, we will be taking the quarter off and doing a full quarter from here all the way down front to back. Um, there's nobody knows what these holes are from. Somebody sectioned in this top half of the quarter and then somebody else sectioned in the bottom half of the quarter and when they did this bottom half they didn't even use the correct year or model. They used something that had the same general body lines but it had a different uh, light bezel opening so um, we're not totally sure what it's off of. It's not for the car though is the point. Um, there's actually some issues that get to be a little bit more serious when you come around back here. Um, if you look in the trunk area, you can see some buckling and some repair on the trunk floor itself. Um, the discoloration down here is just from coming out of the acid and it just sort of pools before they can wash it off. So that's not a big deal. But there are little holes. It might be kind of hard to see. There are little holes up in that corner that are popped spot welds. Um, so it's showing some structural weakening probably from a really big accident um, that brought basically this entire quarter in and ended up buckling the um, outer wheelhouse, some portions of the inner wheelhouse, um, the quarter extension, we'll go underneath the car in a minute, um, quarter extension is pretty well buckled and there's even um, some structural damage back here. There's actually a really large um, indent that's hard to see and then we've got an Audi in the middle. So that's showing that the metal was stressed inward here, outward here, indicating that it was hit from the driver's side. Um, this entire lip will have to be replaced because I keep almost slicing myself on it. And underneath, hopefully Steve can keep up with me here. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Um, we're just starting to kind of get into taking a look at the structural issues underneath. Um, th this is just the rotisserie here, so it's mounted on the rotisserie here on either side. Um, so it's, it's structurally secured on the frame rails, but then there is a buckle in the frame rail just in front of the rotisserie mount. And there's some sort of a repair, and until we take it off we won't understand why they did this. Um, but there is a plate welded in place here and there's additional wrinkling like all along that frame rail. Um, the other side doesn't mirror those imperfections or any of these um, added brackets so to speak. So that's how we know they're really not supposed to be there. Um, if you can get a view from up here, this, this is the um, quarter extension. So it kind of comes down. It's where things get stuck in your trunk when they go down in that opening, um, for lack of a better way to describe it. So this is all um, like popped welds and old repair and then somebody tried to braze it after that repair was failing. And in the front here on the outer wheelhouse, this is looking towards the back of the car. 
So it's all rusted out at the bottom of it, but this is a big buckle out and it's pretty well misshapen. Um, so it, that'll all get replaced, but it's just trying to kind of figure out where we need to start with worrying about the structural integrity to make sure that it is square, which will first of all, make the car safe. And second of all, um, by making everything square and fitted correctly on where the frame is supposed to be, uh, you're gonna allow everything else to fit properly. Your doors will open and close the right way. Your trunk lid's gonna fit. Um, a lot of times people try and hide these things with a lot of shims, um, some spotty repairs, um, or for example, reaming out the holes where your trunk lid mounts. So somebody came down here and they cut, they kind of like slotted the mounts for the trunk lid because obviously it wasn't fitting. Uh, over on the other side, that quarter also has damage. So to me, it looks like it happened about the same time. Seems like somebody maybe hit a tree or a car hit that driver's side quarter and then this quarter was hit into something else, maybe another car, another tree, who knows. It could have just been um, somebody bumped this side of it. Uh, the kind of cool thing is that you can see all of the little lines. Oh, there's a big dent there too. See, we've been looking at the other side so long that we haven't even really paid attention to all the little damage because um, we're much more focused on structural integrity first. And this, this whole quarter will also get replaced. So it's all the way up to this scene here that'll all be gone. Mm -hmm. um, this entire quarter will be new. Um, but you can see all of the little acid lines from when it was being dropped into the acid bath to get all of the old finishes off of it. Um, they do it just like millimeter by millimeter and you can kind of watch it come down. And there's different spots that you'll see discoloration that's just from the acid being washed out of it. Um, we don't know for sure what all the discoloration is in there. It is suspe sus suspected, sorry, <laughs> Sunday. Uh, it's suspected that somebody maybe tried to heat the roof because it is um, very oil canny. So you probably can't hear it, but it sounds like an oil can or like if you pop the seal on um, like a glass bottle of lemonade or something and that little top pops out, that's essentially the effect that you're getting on the roof there. Um, the entire floor is going to be done. We'll be all installed once the structural repairs are made. And that is really the repair that started it all, that first repair on the passenger side. Um, the owner noticed that there were some issues with rust when he was chasing after an oil leak, I believe, and ended up noticing that somebody had used uh, spray foam and then covered that with aluminum foil and passed it off as solid. So, I mean, there's really no kind words that I can say for somebody who would do something like that because not only is it completely unsafe, but it's also, um, I, I don't know, I can't speak nicely about that, so I'm just gonna pass over it. Don't do that, how about that? Uh, this is also an old patch repair, so once we get the old, we'll cut this piece off and see what's happening up here on the dash. That'll be fixed correctly. Um, there's a lot of lap welds, some brazing. Um, lap welds are when they take the, you can kind of see it here, they're taking the new metal and then they're just putting it over the old metal or behind and basically overlapping one section of it and then welding that seam. Um, we do butt welds and we always weld everything completely so that you don't have any areas of weakness. Um, the entire firewall is getting replaced. Uh, all of the metal is here. It's going to get door skins. Uh, we have both doors here, but they're both in need of some help. And honestly, I haven't even looked at them because this is the focus at the moment. Um, let's see, the hood actually looks pretty good. 
but the trunk lid will be needing some pretty major attention. I mean, it's still even got some body filler in it after the acid bath and um, some new lines and contours that aren't meant to be there. So we'll just call it contouring, right? Um, if you guys have any questions about everything that we're going to be doing, I'll try and post some more pictures later. There's kind of a lot and it's all kind of disorganized right now, but we will be posting a lot more pictures of how to correct all of these issues uh, in the very near future and hopefully showing some people the right way to do these structural repairs, making sure that the car is safe, and maybe we've informed you guys on some of the stuff that you should look for when you're purchasing a car. Um, you can't always find things that are extremely well hidden, but um, you can hire somebody to come and take a look at it, because this is getting all too common, this story of buying a classic car that's done and then discovering that they skipped over some vital aspects of whether it's electrical work or structural repairs, um, then it's now your baby and you've got to figure out what to do with it because you want a safe car and we know that most people wouldn't sell something that they don't think is safe. So that's it for me today. Happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We're going to go do some organizing. Um, <laughs> we will be doing uh, a live video next week on the 49 Custom that you can kind of see just behind us. And uh, that one will be just as much fun and surprising. So uh, we'll make an announcement when that's gonna be happening. Have a great weekend.